My name is Isabella Brogan. DJ Montgomery. I'm Chelsea Guardiola. I'm Nick Heron. My name is Adam Bell. My name is Desmond Jones. I'm Ivan Martinez. My name is Jamil Wilson. Jalen Brown. My name is Armand Hussein. Hey, it's Nicole. What's up, class of 2022? Hi, I'm Zoe Watts, class of 22. Hi, my name is Hemagari Wai. Hi, my name is Asusa Nadia. Hi, my name is Emily Guerrero. What's up, class of 2022? It's Chase Petrie. One thing that most people don't know about De La Salle is how competitive we are. Most people don't know that De La Salle is a very tight-knit community. There's like 700 kids or more here, but uh, I feel like most people here know everyone. Most people don't know of how diverse we are. I say that I have met so many people in this school that I didn't think I would meet or get a chance to be friends with them. The accomplishment that I'm most proud of while I've been at De La Salle was definitely my junior year soccer season. We went undefeated in our conference and we won. And we also had a 14 game winning streak. And it was just something I was really proud of because like the whole team came together and we had a whole fan base coming out to all of our games and I, we gained a lot of support that season. My greatest accomplishment would probably be becoming an Illinois State Scholar. It meant a lot to me because I had to work hard like all four years of high school to get that and uh, I'm really proud of it. My most proudest accomplishment here at De La Salle is probably like making an honor roll. Like that's maybe something little, but for me like it stands out a lot because it just shows me how hard I'm working in the classroom and if that I'm on a B honor roll that I can work even harder to make the A honor roll. De La Salle has made me has changed the way I think about the world for to be more open. You know, um, here I interact with like a lot of different people on a daily basis. My friend group is a variety of kids, you know, from different races, places where they live, you know, things like that. So I'd say it's just opened my eyes to like accepting everybody and getting along with everyone and being friends with everyone. I would say the teachers at De La Salle changed the way I view the world by like teaching me how to approach certain situations from Coach Martinez and Coach Nunez, teaching me on and off the field. Uh, it changed the way I think about the world because in our world today, I see a lot of violence and uh, bad behavior, and I feel like De La Salle shaped me into being a mature and uh, strong and independent young man, so it, it helped me have the knowledge to be able to teach the people in my society on just how to be a better person, mentally and physically. Delisa has pushed me to take risks and become comfortable with the uncomfortable and just really step outside my comfort zone and embrace new experiences, welcome new challenges, and help me evolve as a person. The characteristics of Delisa Out has helped me get a more hopeful outlook on the world, especially through our social justice class. I've been able to realize that there's a lot more good to do and that there's a lot of work and potential that our student body has. Um, that we still haven't reached and that we should work and strive towards. My favorite course would be Journalism with Ms. Monaco because not only do I like photography, but like doing yearbook and designing yearbook spreads. It's, it was very creative and it was easy for me to do since I like designing things. A faculty member that has made my time with De La Salle is Ms. Monaco. She's been my teacher since sophomore year and my journalism teacher my junior and senior year. And she's helped me with my initiatives such as Media Go Leader, you know, my communications internship, and she's been a big factor in my education here. So I appreciate what she's done, what she's helped push me to do, so. Definitely Coach Bain. Uh, he's been like a, you know, role model for me. Uh, I always look for him every time I need like something from him, he's always been there, and he's been a big support, him and Coach Groove. One of my favorite teachers I've had here was definitely Mr. Jakowiak and J-Rock. Big shout out to him. He helped me with a subject that I really never enjoyed, which was math. I definitely will say once I got to his class and going through like his system and being able to go in the mornings and after school sometimes to put in some extra work for trigonometry and geometry and all the stuff that he taught me because he taught my sophomore and junior year and just to have him for that two year span was really like a difference. A song I would use to describe the class of 22 would be Homecoming by Kanye West. Congratulations by Postal. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in this together from High School Musical. I would choose One Last Time by Ariana Grande. On the Floor by J-Lo. Yeah, Fireball. <laughs> no Role Models by J. Cole. Uh, I'd say Love Yours by J. Cole. For me, I would say End of the Road, Boys to Men. And for me, uh, I would say Wiz Khalifa, See You Again. I don't even know how to say goodbye, I guess. Um, I just can't really imagine like saying goodbye, so I guess, I don't know. I hope to see you guys again, you know? I'll miss you.
<laughs> Goodbye class of 2022. Hope all you've accomplished everything you guys want and I believe every one of you could achieve whatever you set your mind to. Uh, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say thank you for all the memories and all the friendships I had throughout these last few years and I wish good luck for everybody on their next four years in college. I would just say thank you for four years accepting me. Um, I wish you the best along your journey in college and life. I hope we can, you know, reconnect again, stay together, and I will always be meteors. YOLO. I'd say I would wish everybody the best of luck in the rest of their life, especially with college. It's when everybody, they truly become who they are. I guess I said that too. <laughs> so I miss you guys and good luck in college and the future. It's been a tough ride with y'all, you know, some of y'all, I'm known since freshman year, some that I'm just meeting this year, but regardless whether we were always close or not, where we started together, we're coming out together, and I wish the best in future endeavors, and I hope that y'all make it in life. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that. Can we do that again? <laughs> I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good luck. Goodbye, class of 2022. I don't know. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I'd say I love you all and I'm really gonna miss you. I hope that we all stay close and meteors for life. Uh, it's been a long road, uh, farewell, and I hope that uh, later in life we can meet and, and rekindle on all the good times that we had. For me, I'll say, Y'all have a blessed and successful life. Takes out y'all dreams. We always can come together anytime y'all want. Have fun. Enjoy. Ah, let's get it, Zoe. Ah, nailed it. <laughs> well, to leave off my high school career here at De La Salle Institute, I'd like to say that you get in what you put into this, and I really enjoyed it here. And I'm glad that I spent my time my time as a meteor for my high school career and all the stuff that we did for the four years, all the friends, all the stuff that I did as a freshman throughout now. It was really a journey because I'm not the same person I did walking through the doors my first my first day of freshman year. Leaving will definitely be a tough one, but I will say that if you trust the process and stay stay positive towards things, even when things get rough, there will be a there always will be light at the end of the tunnel. And with that being said, Chase Petrie is out. Congratulations to the class of 2022. That's it. Class of 22, I wish you nothing but the best. Work hard, pursue your dreams, shoot for the moon, do everything you can. Make sure you guys all get jobs so I can retire pretty soon. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for this school. Um, you will be missed, and I look forward to hearing about the next chapters in your life. Uh, don't be a stranger. We'll be here. Thank you. Wow, class of 2022. It seems like yesterday you were coming in as freshman and here you are graduating. Uh, this class will always have a special place in my heart. Never forget 35th Street, never forget what, you're, what we're all about. And uh, love you guys. Class of 2022, you're definitely gonna be missed. Uh, hands down, one of my favorite senior classes. You came a long way and who, who would have thought that we would have thrown a pandemic into the mix? But we got through it together as a De La Salle family and I'm so proud of the way you guys are. Uh, you're gonna accomplish great things. Uh, we've had our ups in the Dean's office, we've had our downs, but I wanna thank you for always being respectful no matter what the case may be. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and you guys are family to me. Remember, you're gonna be a part of this lifelong fraternity which is the Institute for as long as we're around. So please don't hesitate to reach out forever. Go Meteors. This class was amazing. I had a lot of fun with this class. I feel like this is the kind of class that um, they knew how to enjoy themselves, but they also knew how to work. And they also knew what they needed to do to succeed. If I could give any bit of advice, it would be a couple of things. One, money is important, but having a job that you like is even more important. Every day when I leave school, I think that was worth it. Maybe it wasn't the best day, but it was still a worthwhile career. So do that. And then the last thing is also live your life for other people. Don't just live for yourself. Live to make the world a better place for people outside of who you are. And as always, I would just say be yourselves because you were great this year. So thank you very much. Hey Meteors, class of 2022. This is Mr. Dowling and you've heard me say this too before. 
You guys are truly special. You have been a highlight of my teaching career. So much adversity, and you've really overcome it because you really are just at your heart truly blessed. And know that that you always have a home here at De La Salle. Come back and visit and know we're rooting for you. God bless, Meteors. I recently heard a quote that said, your voice is so quiet because your actions are so loud. All of you been challenged over the last four years. Challenges that you couldn't predict, couldn't see. COVID, hybrid learning. And even though your voices might have been so small when you entered the building freshman year, your actions have been so loud. Over the years, you've accomplished so much. You've overcame so much. It's been a pleasure as, as a teacher, moderator, principal, observing, witnessing, and hearing your voices and actions being so loud. And for that, I want to thank you. I, I appreciate all you've done for yourselves, for the community, for the school over the last four years. And I'm even more excited to see what you do in the future. Class of 2022, I just wanted to give you my congratulations on finishing uh, your high school experience and your high school journey. I know it's just the first step into your, your next, hopefully four years of, of your college experience or wherever else um, we're, we're moving on to in post-secondary education. Uh, but what a journey it's been. You, you All of you have persevered through probably um, the most challenging four years of, of any high school student with a mixture of a pandemic and, and a lot of other things that, that have, have played into it. And, and you have all persevered, become stronger, and, and so excited that you are joining the Meteor alumni family and look forward to everything that you're going to do in the world as you move forward because uh, you, you have had experiences that no one else has had and I hope that you are able to take those and continue those on in, in your journey.